Hi everybody, welcome to another video. I am talking today about something that occurs to a lot of people in different areas of their life and that is analysis paralysis. Now you probably would think that you are alone but you are definitely not. I incur this pretty much daily with things to do with my business, with fitness, uh, sometimes with styling as well. So I thought if I'm experiencing I, if I'm experiencing this, then you probably are too. And as we are a community of women, I feel like it's really important to uplift and motivate each other each other and I thought that maybe you could take some value out of this video. So a lot of the times analysis paralysis has a lot to do with motivation um, and just feeling stuck and unsure of what to do. Over the years I have learned a couple of things that have helped me move on from this and to move forward and take steps even when I felt like there's no way I could possibly move forward um, and a couple of the things um, are looking for motivation. So for example, if it's to do with fitness and I think, oh, I just don't want to go to the gym today. There's no way. I don't want to eat healthy. Uh, I've noticed if I am looking at on Instagram at motivational people such as fitness models, um, I feel like going to the gym. <laughs> uh, also looking at recipes for healthy foods as well, that will definitely get me off my bum. If it has to do with business, I found one of the best things I can do for myself is to read books. I love reading. I am reading something new all the time. Um, I prefer personal development and growth books. These for me give me a lot of motivation and a lot of the time strategies of ways that I can move forward with something or it just kind of ticks something in my brain that says, oh, you can do that as well. You know, if they did it, then you can do that. Uh, also watching on YouTube, if you just type in like success motivation, there are a range of videos with the best um speeches given by um, very influential people and they'll make like hour hour long uh, YouTube clips on this as well and so if I'm feeling really stuck and really demotivated and I watch this it gives me the motivation to do something about it. Um, I thought something that could benefit you all is to do with styling. A lot of people that I talk to say that they don't know you know where to start with styling um, say if they want to redo their lounge room they just they're just stuck they just don't know what to do if they are if somebody is wanting to redo their living room for example um, they'll tell me that they're stuck they don't know what to do uh, where to start so I think um, programs such as Pinterest and Instagram are great visually for looking at the kind of styles that you like or that you want um, to incorporate into your home. Um, so you can create on Pinterest pin boards of different things that, so for example, like a lounge or you like a specific rug or you like just the way that a whole living room looks and kind of put those pictures together. That'll give you some motivation of where to start. So you might say okay well I'll look for a lounge similar to this I'll look for a rug similar to this should I paint my walls this color also I found um, one of the biggest ways to motivate um, to do with styling I mean I don't need personally a lot of motivation around styling because it's my passion it's what I love but for people um, who maybe are not so much going shopping and finding things that you really like is a great source of motivation um, so that's probably one thing I'd suggest as well and just keeping in mind that everybody's um, everyone's different and everyone has um, a different source of motivation for themselves as well. Probably the uh, one thing as well that I've realized, it's all well and good to wait for motivation, but a lot of the times you wait and wait and wait and it doesn't come. The only way sometimes to get motivated is just by doing. 
Have you noticed, for example, that um, you may not want to go to the gym, but you're forced or you make yourself somehow go and you are there. And once you do that workout that you were dreading, you actually feel like going again or you feel like keeping going. That's because when you put your body into motion, it creates the, the feeling that you want to keep going with it. So that is probably something that I would suggest as well, is just to do it anyway. Uh, so I hope that you found some value in this video. Um, leave any questions below for me and I will get back to them.